Miss Willoughby and the Haunted Bookshop is not the film I thought it was going to be, not in a bad way. This is definitely a film of two halves. The second half just feels like a completely different film. There's a huge shift in tone. And my advice to anybody who perhaps started watching it and gave up before about halfway, because it is slow, it is very slow to get going. If you did give up, I would say go back and try again because it really picks up and it becomes really intense. And I did really thoroughly enjoy it. This was released in 2021. It's directed by Brad Watson and it stars Natalie Cox as Miss Willoughby. And we also have Kelsey Grammer as Robert Windsor and Carolyn Quentin is in it. And we just have a really great cast. And I'll be honest, I wouldn't have heard of this had it not been for Kelsey Grammer. So I'm pleased I had a reason to watch it. But Miss Willoughby... Natalie Cox's character is really, really likeable as well. So I'm really glad that her character was the driving force behind the narrative because she owns this bookshop and it seems like there's a a supernatural presence there. Uh, a woman called Helen, whom she knows, has started to experience strange happenings and she starts to detect the scent of her late father, a particular cologne that he used to wear, and everything seems very paranormal, but also not everybody believes in this. So Miss Willoughby takes it upon herself to try and solve this mystery. And what I will say is I did not expect it to go the way it did. And there's a specific turning point for me, but it is a spoiler, so I'll discuss in a moment what that turning point is. But I found this to be really dramatic, really intense. It's a really great, very well-written mystery with some really great characters and also beautiful settings. This is filmed in the UK. It's a, well, I was going to say it's a British film. I don't know if the studios behind it are British, but it's certainly filmed in the UK. And we have some gorgeous properties, some really beautiful homes, and it's just absolutely stunning to look at as well. So all of that, I really thoroughly enjoyed, and the narrative is really compelling, but slow. It is very slow to begin with. I'd say the first half of the film is kind of mundane and doesn't seem like it's going to be a very compelling narrative at all. And then it kicks in, and I absolutely loved the second half of this film. I don't want to say too much more about it because I don't want to give away too much of the mystery. But as I said, if you have started watching it or indeed if you do start to watch it and feel that it's really slow and doesn't feel like it's gaining momentum, stick with it because it does eventually become really dramatic and it's very well filmed. We have some gorgeous establishing shots and the characters are really likeable. The acting, of course, is really good. No complaints from me at all beyond the slow pacing, but even when it's slow, the acting is good, the settings are really nice, and there is enough to keep me engaged. But at the same time, they could have quickened things up a little bit, but thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it. So very briefly, but a big spoiler, just the turning point for me, and this is a huge spoiler for something that happens, the turning point for me when I realised that there was a huge shift in tone is when they think Helen is in the water and they pull the body out and they zip back the, the body bag. And what we see is more graphic than I was expecting. Now, I don't think it's graphic in the sense that I was shocked or horrified. It's just more than I was expecting. It, it went further than I'd anticipated. And that's when I detected that sudden shift and things became a little bit darker and a little bit more real. And I really thoroughly enjoyed that aspect. So definitely a really good film once it got going. Miss Willoughby in the Haunted Bookshop is definitely worth checking out.